Hello everybody and welcome back to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain to you what references are in C++. So first of all, what is a reference? Normally when you for instance have a function and you pass something into the function, you cannot modify it inside of the function. That's because you're not passing in the actual variable, you're passing in a copy of the variable. But using references, we can actually pass in a variable so we can modify it. And if we have really big classes, for instance, that we don't have to copy it every time. So there are two things that I'm going to explain to you. The first thing is a reference. The second thing is a constant reference. Both of these are really important. A reference is important when you want to edit something inside of a function. And a constant reference is important when you have big variables, for instance, big strings or big classes, and you don't want to copy them every time because it's just going to take up more memory. So how do we specify a reference? Well, let's first create a function. Function. So let's simply call it void change name. And then in here, we need to specify a string. So let's just call it string name. Let's not give it a body yet. Let's go back to change name. Now it's time to specify a reference. The way we specify a reference is with the and character. So just like we did with pointers, we simply put it in between the type and the name, and that will make it a reference. So now if you create a string here, called name and set it equal to something so let's say link and if we call a change name function with name so in here we specify for instance that we want to change the name so let's for instance say name is equal to Zelda and if we see out it at the end of here so console out it with an end line and if we run it now you will see that it C outs Zelda instead of Link. That's because we modified name to Zelda instead of Link. But if we would remove the reference key and we run it again, you will see that it says Link, even though we changed name in here. Well, we actually did change name in there, but we did not change the original version of name. We changed the copied version of name. So as you can see, it can be really handy to use references. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, let's create another function void say name. And in here, we're going to pass in a constant string at name. Do you see the difference between the two functions? In here, I did not specify const in front of it, but in here I did. What this will do is it will make it so we cannot modify the string or whatever variable we pass in. But because it's a reference, we're also not going to copy it. It's a really good coding practice to use constant references because it will save quite some memory when you have a big program with a lot of different enemies, for instance, a lot of different objects. So it's really handy to use this. And now in here, we can, uh, we'll simply, yeah, just move this line of code and then call the say name function. Now, if you run a program, you will see that it's still C out Zelda. But if in here we would say name is equal to link again, then you will see that you will get an error. It will give you a squiggly line underneath the is. That's because this is constant. We cannot modify the value. So it's a really good way to know that a variable is safe. You know that it's not going to be changed, but you're also not going to copy the data. Another thing that you cannot do, for instance, in the same name function, because it's constant, is pass it through to another function and use a non-constant version of that variable. That's because once it's constant, you cannot change it back to non-constant. You have to go up a few scopes to a point where it was not constant, and only on that point you can send it to something that needs a non-constant version of it. That is just to keep it safe. That's just so you cannot modify something that's constant. So if we try to call the change name function here, with this version of name, you will see that you also get a squiggly line. That's because it's a constant version and you're trying to pass it through as a non-constant version. So it's not possible. That's basically all I had to say for today. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.